You here to spy on me, Troy? No. I'm here on behalf of Miz to make sure you're staying on task. To recruit two teammates for SmackDown Survivor Series War Games team. So have you done that yet? Eh, not quite. Survivor Series will be here before we know it. So come on, go find some teammates now. Or we'll have to choose for you. Thanks, Troy. What would I do without you? You here to spy on me, Troy? No. I'm here on behalf of Miz to make sure you're staying on task. To recruit two teammates for SmackDown Survivor Series War Games team. So have you done that yet? Actually, I have. Excellent. Ready to lock them in? Once you make this decision, Miz will let corporate know it's official, so you can't change your mind. Besides, we really need to start promoting the participants, and Miz has big plans he wants to kick off for the Build to Survivor Series. I like the group I've assembled. Team SmackDown is ready for war games and whatever else Miz has planned. Good. I'll let the boss know. We're cutting away from Cody Rhodes' title defense because SmackDown superstars have invaded backstage. Is this part of their War Games team? Luckily, Luke Gallows is here to back up his partner. Let's get back to ringside as we monitor this developing situation. Cody Rhodes has successfully defended his World Heavyweight Championship but has no idea what's transpired backstage during this match. Well, he's about to find out now. I think this is the debut of SmackDown's War Games team. And what a lineup they've assembled. This doesn't look good for the American Nightmare. He's in trouble. He might not even make it to War Games. And there's their captain, the WWE Universal Champion. Cody Rhodes is surrounded. Hold on. Cody has backup. It's his Survivor Series teammates. Well, at least some of them after Carl Anderson was taken out. This is about to explode. Here we go. Hold on. Not on my bloody show, gentlemen. Save it for war games. Come on, Regal. I wanted to see them fight. Team Raw's side is at a disadvantage. Smart move, if you ask me. That's enough. And there it is. And Regal gets near. SmackDown's champion. That did not go as planned. You think? William Regal has been a mentor to the so-called Dark Horse, invading Raw as a slap in the face, and now he just took a literal blow from his supposed friend, accidental or not. Well, for now, it looks like Team SmackDown is going to retreat. This didn't break into an all-out war, but they delivered a strong message here tonight. I agree, Corey. We didn't know who would represent the blue brand Survivor Series, and now we know it's going to be an epic battle inside that double-sided cage. I can't wait. We did what Miz asked, and honestly, it didn't turn out that great. I never wanted to assault William Regal. What do you mean? It was must-see TV! Especially the part when you nailed Regal! Good stuff, pal. Whatever. So what does our genius GM have planned next? And where is he even? I haven't seen him anywhere since I got to the building. Well, with, um... 
Tensions escalating, and who knows how Raw would retaliate. Miz thought it was better if he stayed home this week. So, he ran away again. Got it. Look, what's more important is Regal is sending AJ Styles here for a War Games preview match. And Miz has so much confidence in his team captain that he wants you to decide who should fight Styles. Okay, and you want my decision now? Yes, and Miz also said if you make the wrong call and we lose, then it's completely on you. So choose wisely. Good. I'll let the boss know. A man who's been champion everywhere he's ever competed. The phenomenal AJ Styles. And guess what? He's not showing any signs of slowing down. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles is in a class by himself continually adding to his accolades with every single match. A Grand Slam champion in WWE night after night lives up to the moniker of Phenomenal. You know, being known as Phenomenal, that's just the beginning. Well, anytime AJ Styles is in the ring, you have to almost assume that it's gonna turn into an instant classic. Yeah, another one's imminent tonight. Galloping into history, defying all odds. It's the Dark Horse. And his opponent from Fontana, California, weighing in at 235 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Jack Wolf. And just listen to that crowd. He's a Universal Champion who is quickly becoming universally beloved more like universally overrated. The fans may adore him now, but let's see how long that love affair lasts. The reins are off, and it is on. After a bit of an invasion on Raw, the phenomenal AJ Styles and his SmackDown opponent are giving us a preview of the upcoming War Games match at Survivor Series. Yeah, these two will compete at Survivor Series, but a singles match can't really reflect the chaos and destruction of War Games. I hear you, Corey, but any good tactician will take any edge they can get to prepare for such a brutal match. Now, that was a very questionable attack. I think it goes beyond any gray area. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Running knee! Uh-oh. Look for the suplex! No, uh -oh. no, 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 neck breaker! <laughs> Styles ducks out of the way and responds with a Pele kick. Oh, right in there. And no amount of tenacity could have helped AJ there. There was some power behind that punch. A face buster knee smash. That looks painful. German suplex. No, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. And gets tossed back into the mat. Ooh, 
dropped right on their face. Styles gets him back. And the DDT. Boost kick finds it. Styles going down. And the ropes forced to break. He did not want to be caught up in that submission any longer. Able to prevent Styles' attack. He is just reeling from that offense. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Nicely done, snap suplex so quick. Looking for a high risk, high. Uh-oh, way too. And that was a precisely measured attack. Just crashing down with high impact. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Uh-oh, it's gonna, we're gonna see it. Stop. Styles being measured and could be near. Uh-oh, this is going to be nasty. There's the power into the... Driven down with a jackhammer. AJ is out. That's it. Two count. He kicked out at two. The fight in AJ is still very much alive. He's not going down without a fight. I've lost count of how many times this match should have ended by now. And now Styles is under immense pressure. AJ's got to slow this momentum down. Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. Stop! Oh no, now Styles is busted up. Boom! What a knockout punch! Oh man! German suplex! Lining it up. Gonna cut him in half. She wrote. Here is your winner, Jack. Ooh, the dark horse is on a roll. For now, Saxton, the WWE Universal title puts a target on his back every time he even enters an arena. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets. You know there's no such thing as a brand war, right? We all get our checks from the same place. What? Next thing you're gonna tell me is we weren't actually gonna get married. Seriously, though. I know, I know. You're not wrong. Working with Miz again is the worst. Especially since it all started because Regal hurt his feelings on a talk show. Doesn't take much. <laughs> right? But now it's gotten personal with Cody nailing me with that cheap shot and then everything with Regal. So you can criticize how we got here all you want. But when we step inside those cages, I'm going to make sure my team does whatever it takes to survive. Understood. Well, even though technically we're on opposite sides, mind if I bum a ride to the building? Sure. Anything for my fiancé. That's more like it. Separate cages, with one member of each team starting the match. At 
regular intervals. Alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The team with the advantage will be the first to have a member released into the match. Once all competitors have entered, War Games officially begins. The match can be won by pinfall or submission. Exiting the cage will result in a forfeit. Now, let the War Games begin! Representing Blue with his eyes set on War Games supremacy, it's the WWE Universal from Champion. Fontana, California. Weighing in at 235 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Jack Wolf. War Games is the perfect setting to either rise to the occasion or crash and burn. SmackDown has a formidable group, but I'm not sure if I'd hold my breath for the fairy tale ending. If the champ and Seth Rollins can put their differences aside, just imagine what they're capable of doing together in the ring. War has been declared. Now all that's left is the question of who will fire the first shot and who will survive. including U.S. champ A.J. Styles. And representing the O.C. from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, the phenomenal A.J. You have to think that the undisputed Universal Champion is anticipating the entry of one man, Cody Rhodes. The WWE Universe has been waiting for these guys to get their hands on each other for years. But the champ better not overlook the rest of Team Raw, especially AJ Styles. For Team Raw, this fight is personal. The battle lines are drawn. Red versus blue. Raw versus SmackDown. Champions fill out both sides of the battlefield, but who will lead their team to victory? Call me biased, but I think the WWE Universal Champion has put so much work into building the best War Games team possible that I think SmackDown takes it tonight. But can you imagine the chip on the shoulder of Raw Captain and World Heavyweight Champion Cody Rhodes? It was Cody who was on the losing end when the Dark Horse became champion so long ago. Cody can exact some revenge tonight. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. Rolling neck snap. Oh, he went low. The humanity. Prime example of working smarter, not harder. That's what I say. And AJ only finds himself on the defensive. AJ's got to find a window to fight back. Into the corner now. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Running knee. Ball, oh, this isn't pretty. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. The countdown hurtling towards a shift in the status quo. Oof! Implanted by the DDT. Here they come, looking to give their team the upper hand as soon as possible. Right in the mouth, relentless. Right in the face. My God. He's dictating the pace of this match now, guys. You can tell he's firing up. And now, officially in the fray. It pays to be coming in and have more friends than foes in the cage. Splash! From behind! Spine! Oh, 
Gunther. Mm -mm -mm. Rollins making perfectly clear who the visionary is in this match. Springboard Bulldog! Oh, here we go. And with his coming entrant, the teams will officially be evened up. Oh, man, he took a hard landing into the other ring. Up for the electric chair, down for the drop. Here we go. They look ready to get in there and even things up a little. He just gets it flying into the opposite ring. This is gonna be nasty. 
There's the power into the jackhammer. Will that stop Anderson? Getting him into the corner. Good. Styles looking to end this thing. The Styles clash. Did they take it a little bit? The holding cage has been open, and we're about to see a bit of a handicap match here, gentlemen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. And just planting them with that DDT there. Styles is looking to end this thing. If this lands, it's over. Styles clash. That could be curtains for night. He begins to climb up. Right. Up high. Into the cage now. And the numbers advantage is locked in. Attacking the arm. Great way to break down your life. Goodness. That table exploded. I don't think we should be worried about the table, Saxon. There's a human being under the wreckage. Situation. Take down. Put him with a crossbait. Uh oh, this. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Check him. Just be seconds away from the end. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Good gravy. From the peak of the steel cage. Can you imagine a force of that landing? Does Styles finish the job? Styles great find the leg. Rolls through. Will he tap? This will win the take down. Whatever the cross face, it's cinched in. This could Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, what a counter! We're gonna free the arm and does just that. champion just prove everyone right i have a feeling these two will meet again down the line with a lot more at stake we'll see about that michael unbelievable until then this is team raw and the american nightmares night to stand tall over wwe
Listen, I know you're dealing with a lot of pressure right now after war games. It's overwhelming. And it can make you forget why you stepped into this business with a heart full of passion. Trust me, I get it. But picture this. A match after hours at TBD when the arena is deserted and all eyes are off you. No obligations to live up to anyone's expectations, no titles to defend, just you and a ring. Pins only. Back to the core of wrestling. This championship run is epic! You must be so stressed. I'm stressed vicariously through you. You know what helps me relax? I like to go on vacation. In my mind. 
<laughs> Here's what I'm thinking. Close your eyes, take yourself somewhere exotic, and imagine yourself doing the most exciting thing you can think of. Which, for me, is wrestling. But against someone fun, like, what about Doink the Clown? Want to see where your mind can take you? <laughs>